Yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back. Okay, I know you guys are thinking. <laughs> I said I was going to be back last time. A month ago. Didn't happen. Don't worry, guys. I made... Okay, first, I made a new channel. I post a video on there. I was supposed to post a link in my last video, or make an updated one to post a link for that. I never did. The video ended up getting four views, <laughs> but... Pretty much, I'm just, I'm not ending. I can't lose all you guys as subscribers. I gotta stay on this channel. I have no copyright strikes. I've talked to YouTube and everything. I used to have one. I used to have a couple of other things. And I'm just, I'm really close to that. Not really close, but I'm trying to get to that th a thousand subscribers. That's when I really start making money off YouTube and then it can become a job pretty much. And that's just been what I've been focusing on, is doing a lot of YouTube work, contacting them, have everything all set up behind the um, camera on the computer and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys and get into a couple things here now. Okay, now first thing, guys, I went to SneakerCon last, um, last weekend, and I picked up, I picked up some stuff, basically, here. The orange boxes. I got these for two hundred and sixty dollars. Very good deal. They were going for around four hundred everywhere else. There, it was insane. I I didn't really knew the guy. He was like helping me out a lot. He was talking to me because I met him on day one, and I, I said I'll think about it. Day two, I bought him on Sunday for he gave ten dollars cheaper that day. But um, yeah, I got some those. And what else did I get? Oh yeah, I got these Jordan fives here. I got these for a steal in the trading pit with the box too. I got those for $50, guys. That was an insane deal. And what I picked up, this was the main thing that I picked up. Still can't believe it. I actually got to meet Yeezy Busta and I got a picture with him. Um, I'm going to try to show you guys that in the video. But if not, my Instagram will be down below in the link. But this is the shoe right here. I'm going to show you guys the box. Yeah. Yeah, basically bought those. <laughs> um, not for how much the price tag was on it, though. Not for how much that was. I spent, you know what? I'm just going to show you guys. I'm not going to tell you guys how much I spent. But here they are right now. All right, guys. I'm just going to tell you how much I paid for them. I did sell shoes there. I sold two, two or three pairs of shoes there. I got like $300 off that. So it helped me get these, but I spent $500 on them. Which is a absolute steal for the V1s. Wow. $500 for a pair of shoes is a steal. Okay, forget the fact I said that. <laughs> but still, it was an insane deal. And I'll show you guys some B-roll of them right now. Alright guys, so basically those were the Yeezys that I did end up picking up. I, walking into Cleveland, I never expected that I'd ever walk out with a pair of V1 Yeezys. But I did probably my most valuable shoe that I have. I'm never trading or selling that shoe, ever. Because when I first started high school, I never thought I'd be able to walk around with those kind of shoes. Uh, that's what I actually wanted for my graduation gift. <laughs> When I am in, I'm in 11th grade right now, but when I was in, uh, going to be in 12th grade next year, that's what I really wanted. But to know the fact that I already have those before my even senior year is insane. But yeah, guys, as you can see, the Yeezys would usually be right there, but I left them in the other room. These are some of the shoes right there. That's where the Yeezy box would be. But yeah, four pairs of Yeezys I have, guys. I have a pair of the 500s I got. Um, got these in a trade actually from my friend, not at SneakerCon. Haven't worn them yet. Just depends on the day when I feel like getting roasted when I wear these because no one's gonna know what they are. Besides for you guys watching. <laughs> but yeah, I got those. Um, oh yeah, these were the fives that I ended up getting for $50. Oh, you guys aren't gonna believe these. Ugh, alright. Okay. So yeah, these in condition. Here's the bottoms, not even yellow. Still have that icy look to them. 
fifty dollars. Still can't believe I got them for that cheap. <laughs> but yeah. Also, shout out to the dude that had me sign his shoes at SneakerCon. I never thought that that ever happened to me. Uh, I actually do remember who this dude was. He'd always leave comments on my Ross videos when I would uh, go to Ross, and I'm gonna start going to stuff like that. Plato's Closet is probably not gonna be anymore, because like <laughs> ever started ever since uh, I started making those videos about Plato's Closet, everyone started going there. Now there's not that much great stuff there anymore because it's either picked over or no one really sells their shoes there. But I do have a lot of shoes that I need to sell that I didn't sell at SneakerCon, like just some like Kyrie's and stuff like that, like 30, 40 bucks. And just need that money pretty much to save up to buy more valuable stuff. I'm trying to cut my sneaker collection down a little bit, which I did because I still have some shoes over there in that closet right there that I need to get rid of. But these are pretty just pretty much like the main ones I want to keep here. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. There's going to be a video tomorrow for sure, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Anyway, I'm out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.